Hi, I'm Lena with Studio R12. Thanks for joining me for another creative moment. I'm standing here today to introduce you to our new fall stencil collection. I'm gonna show you how to paint our new Farm Fresh Autumn Harvest with the pumpkin. I'm gonna be using our Farm Fresh Autumn Harvest stencil and our background embellishment buffalo check stencil. Let's begin. For the Autumn Harvest project, the first thing I'm going to do is I painted my background gray and then to embellish it and give it a little bit more depth, I took the Studio R12 Buffalo Check Stencil. The first thing you need is your dome brush. That's a big key to prevent bleeding. The nice dome shape of the bristles help you not push paint underneath your stencil. The next thing you need is a paper towel or something to kind of wipe your paint off to help with your dry brushing technique. For this project, I'm using a black on top of my gray. So I've poured out just a little bit, more like a quarter size or a nickel size drop of paint. Then I'm gonna pick up just a little bit and I'm gonna roll my brush. And then what I like to do is I like to swirl. I just keep swirling on my paper towel until I get kind of a dusty look there. For stenciling, what you wanna do is be sure you're doing lots of layers if you want a really true crisp look. But for this buffalo check background, I kind of like the dustier look. So I'm just gonna go one time really light over it. I'm also, when I'm picking up paint for this, since I want that dusty look, instead of going back to my paper plate, I'm going to my paper towel to pick up some of the leftover paint. And that helps me not load my brush too much. That way you can kind of see where I ended because sometimes your paint gets heavier as the longer you use a brush. So that's kind of what we're looking for right there. Now I'm gonna move on to taping off my border. So I left just about perfect amount from that edge of the stencil, like where it just is too skinny to meet my board. So I'll just tape off along that. Okay, and I'm gonna take this same like creamy white color that I'm gonna be using for my stenciled words to do my border. I think that kind of helps tie it all together, make your project look really balanced. Again, just a little bit of paint. Even though this isn't a stencil, you can still use that swirl technique. It will soak really nicely for you. Or if you are more comfortable with the stippling, this is a fine place to use it too. My first coat isn't gonna cover really true, so you're gonna be sure you wanna do more than one coat on this. Okay, and then just as soon as you're done, and peel. So now that I've got all my background embellishments done, I've done that Studio R12 Buffalo check and I've got my border here. I'm gonna go with one of the new Studio R12 Autumn designs. So I'm gonna take this Farm Fresh Autumn Harvest stencil and I'm gonna put it right where I want it on the board, making sure I give my border good room on both ends there. Okay, so again, with the stenciling process, I'm gonna take one of these dome brushes and just a little bit of paint. I'm just gonna swirl really lightly. Looks like I have a little more paint on my brush than I thought. So I'm just gonna stop what I'm doing, go back, rub my brush off a little more. Yeah, that looks a lot better. But even just that little bit, that first layer looks really good. So we've got a really nice place to start here. That's why it's good to have lots of different techniques in your tool belt, right? Now that I've finished my project, I'm gonna go ahead and peel out my stencil. I really like the way that looks. I'm especially loving that little pumpkin. He's so cute. So I'm gonna take my sandpaper and I'm just gonna run it over this one quick time. Just to kind of blend all my pieces together. 
and I've got my finished project. <laughs>